Uh, do you believe that affirmative action is still relevant, like in the United States? I think we call it something different now, but I do believe that, um, you want to give me all the hard questions. That's okay, though. Okay. I am probably. A few more minutes. No, that's okay. That's all right. I did. That's right. I didn't know I could say no, but that's okay. I can answer this, remember? All right. Um, you know, I am um, a person who is, well, I'm, I'm female and I'm African American. And so um, one would say that, and, and I'm 54 years old. So I grew up during the 54, so that means that I grew up during a portion, at least, of the era of affirmative action, right? Now, the question is, what did that mean for me? I'm not sure what it meant for me, but I do know this, that I appreciated the opportunities and I never squandered one, and that it is likely the case that had there not been a set of principles on the books, that I would not be standing here before you today. And that's what I think is, um, I think is the case. I think that the era of what we called affirmative action in the 60s and the 70s is, is um, an era that has passed us. But I do believe that we need to look at circumstances of individuals' lives. For example, we need to look at socioeconomic status, really. Okay, we need to think perhaps um, outside of the traditional paradigms of, of race, uh, per se, and gender, per se, and think about broader categories of people, we need to think about people who um, have been out of work for a long time. So we do, in fact, set up programs for individuals, for categories of people that are sometimes necessary in order to create, uh, veterans is another uh, classification, in order to create opportunities for those individuals to move into the societal mainstream. I understand that and I respect that. So I think that when we talk about affirmative action, I take a broad view of the notion of really um, thinking about opportunities for individuals to move forward. If, in fact, we had better policy and more, and we adhere to clear principles around creating good jobs, better schools, and the like, we would be in very set of, uh, a, a very different place. But we don't have that. We don't have that. So that's the way I feel. I think, I think it's time. I'm, I'm sorry. We still have about five more questions. So I'm, I'm going to use my discretion and say it's time. Thank you so much for spending all this time. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we have closing statements. You can spend three or four minutes.